Well, the TNA world, TNA fan base, including myself, was up in arms this morning when an, an initial report came out that Killer Kelly was done with TNA, that sacrifice was her last appearance, uh, which we know isn't true. She did a backstage segment, but um, as far as wrestling on TV, they were saying sacrifice was her last appearance and that she was not in Philadelphia and that she's the part of the company. Sean Ross Sapp has since then debunked this, reaching out to TNA, that she is still very much part of the company and that she is taking time off. When they dropped the tag team titles at Sacrifice, it was something that pissed me off greatly because I really like MK Ultra. I'm not the biggest like Spitfire fan in the planet on the planet. But when you watch the match, she was very protected. She she didn't do anything on screen. We saw very little from her. Masha Slamovich was pretty much doing everything. And Killer Kelly tags into the match, and she's rolled up immediately. And hot potato. So the hot potato goes. They drop the tag team titles immediately after winning them. But my my initial reaction when I saw this was like, she's hurt. That was the match of someone who's hurt. I don't know if she is injured. I know she's getting ready to do a a B film horror flick. So I don't know. I'm going to see her in person next week, so maybe I can get to the bottom of it. I don't really know. I'm going to I'm going to try if it's not reported, uh, I'm going to try to find out if she's hurt or or what she's willing to say. Um but we're you know, the knockouts w- We'll bounce back from this as fans, right? (laughs) Because we'll get her back on our screen soon enough. But the knockouts division is in such shambles. This is crazy. And I guess, well, this past episode, they had kind of teased, because we know the way TNA books, that it was going to be like a three-way tag team match at Rebellion. But I believe Rosemary, she issued a challenge to MKUltra, and I... I kind of took it as it was a she was challenging Masha. I didn't really get it as uh, uh, MK Ultra was going to take on Decay. I, I, I could be totally wrong in that. So we'll see if uh, maybe it was a number one contenders match and uh, Decay wins. You know, we'll we'll see what what happens with that. But they're I guess they're one of the reports came out that they're going to be teasing Masha Slamovich getting a new tag team partner. So I think it would benefit her to remain in the tag team division right now because that tag team division is a mess. The knockouts division is a mess. Like you got to bring girls in. And I know Gail Kim has said, Oh, you know, be patient. I mean, how patient can we be as TNA fans? NWA brings in new talent, every fucking taping. I think they do it a little too much because one of my knocks is that there's some brand new, nobody on my screen every single time I watch. But I mean, it. I I know I'm not on the business side of wrestling, but I just can't imagine that it's that fucking difficult. You're not, um, you're not paying. You know, you're not negotiating salary with these women. The majority of them, I'm sure. When I say the majority, I'm I'm talking like nine out of ten, probably wrestle per appearance. It cannot be that fucking difficult. But then again, maybe I'm wrong. I'm not part of the company. I don't know jack shit about the business side of wrestling. But I just don't see how it's that. I mean, beef up this damn division. This happened several years ago where it was just horrible for about six or seven months. This was actually right you know, prior to Killer Kelly showing up the first time. Uh, or prior to her signing, I should say. The knockouts division was a mess. And they, they slowly but surely beefed it up. But, I mean, it took forever. So um, I have concerns that that is going to be the case again. But. At least we know that Killer Kelly's not going anywhere, and I don't know if she's going to reprise the MK Ultra thing. I would, I would hope so because it's a great act, it's a great team, and I don't know that she's going to be able to find that magic with somebody else. You know, that's really, in my opinion, the best tag team we've ever seen in the Knockouts division, and I think it, it I think it would, the division and the company would benefit from them staying together uh, for a long period of time. 
but who knows who knows where they're going to do but looks like she is taking time off but she is still firmly part of the company so we can uh, expect to see this beautiful woman back on our screen hopefully sooner than later um, but rumor killer killer kelly has not left tna wrestling 